thank you for joining us, David. Really nice to be speaking to you about trauma sensitivity today. Um, why don't we start with you telling us a little bit about yourself and how you came into this work? It'd be nice for us to hear about that. Yeah, sure. So um, I grew up in Canada and was really interested in both psychology and meditation. So trained as a therapist, we also had a pretty serious meditation practice. And um, and it ended up at some point, uh, maybe 10 years into my sitting journey, having a couple challenging experiences in practice that um, kind of sent me on a path about trying to understand what was happening in my practice. And long story short, as I ended up um, doing some work, uh, personally in trauma work, and I was finding that the, um, the interventions that I was going through and the, the lessons that I was learning was were so relevant for what was happening in meditation. So it opened up this whole conversation for me about what's the relationship between mindfulness, meditation, and trauma. And that's really what I've been studying the last, I don't know, gosh, 15 years now. And it's an amazing conversation because it can be both high level, but also very nuanced. Um, so that's how I came here and eventually wrote a book on the topic called trauma sensitive mindfulness and have been lucky enough to get to teach a lot of people about basically how to work well with trauma when it comes to meditation and other contemplative practices. Yeah, how, how, how long ago was that book? Cause it feels like you've been pioneering this space. So it feels like it was a long, long time ago, but possibly. <laughs> yeah. I know uh, it does to me too. It came out 2018 Okay. Um, and the writing was 2012 to 2018. But to your point, a lot has changed in the field when, when I started trauma, it was kind of a newer topic in some ways to, to, to some people, not everyone. And now there's a real heightened awareness about the importance of trauma, basically, I think because of social conditions right now. So the field has changed and evolved and a lot of people are still um, studying trauma-sensitive mindfulness and it's, it's an exciting time. 